What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video we're going to be adding um, boundaries to our game. So like I was telling you guys before, you actually don't, like Pi Game doesn't know inherently that the edge of the window is a boundary or when you crash into a wall that you've actually crashed into a wall. It doesn't just know that and it's not going to impose that on your game. You actually have to code that into your game to say, hey, if these two things cross over, we've got a crash or you know, you've been hit by a bullet or whatever, you have to code that in or you've gotten that coin or whatever. So uh, what we're going to do in this video is begin our first bit of logical statements. So like I was telling you before, you're going to have basically a bunch of event handling and then you'll have a group of logic statements and then usually you'll have a group of, and the logic will sometimes modify variables and stuff like that, but you'll have your event handling, your logic, and then your graphics rendering, and then you'll update the display. And that's what happens every single frame per second that you have set. It's going to run through all of that stuff. And that's kind of why we wanted to use elifs instead of ifs to cu help cut down on the amount of stuff that we have that runs. So now um, we have barriers. And so if we, you know, say we want to have barriers, how do, how do we go about adding barriers to the game? So um, here's our game. So how do we tell Pygame that like when we've crossed over this line here, um, game over, or the crossed over that line, or that line, or the line over here? How do we actually inform Pygame? Well, the easiest way that we can do that is by asking if we are over those lines. So for example, um, what we can ask is if um, lead underscore x is greater than like let's say 800 pixels okay um, what would we want to say well we'd want to say game exit equals true and like that's game over so we can save and run this and come over here and let's just move our guy over there and now he's off the screen and so game exit was true the game ended and we say uh, we do want to exit so that's cool so then of course you could say uh, l if uh, lead x is less than zero, game x equals true, and so on. But what really need, what we really have to ask is the, the end result to any of these is game over. So instead of like making a bunch of if and elif statements all about the boundaries of you know running off the screen, what I suggest you do instead is you can get rid of that, and then we'll say if lead x is greater than 800, Game or you know game x equals true, but you can say if lead x is greater than 800 or lead x is less than zero or lead y is greater than 600, which was the uh, height, or lead y is less than zero. Now game exit equals true. So now we can run this statement um, like this. And we see that if we go up too high, the game is over. Um, and we'll check the bottom. Game over. And then if we go, say, left, yeah, it, it's a game over. Now, one of the things that can be a problem, though, is, like, let's see if I can get it to happen. So we go like this, and then go, ah, shoot, I missed it. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get this. Let's try it this side, then. There we go. See how I was able to go off the screen? That time I failed again. But I was I'm able to get off of the screen uh, by going like this, up, over. There we go. I cheated it again. Obviously in Snake, you're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> it's hard to do it, but I'm able to do it like every now and then. Anyway, so what's the reason? Why is it that we're able to go off the screen like that? Well, if we bring up our game, again, the, where is the location of 0, 0 on this box? It's right here, right at the top left. So zero, zero on the surface, right here. So we're asking if zero, zero is greater than this line. Well, if it's equal to that line, like that, that's okay, right? That is not a problem because it's not greater than, it was only equal to. So obviously that's how we run into that, that problem. The other side, it can't really be the case, but it happens on that side and also like so greater than 800. Um, and all of that. So how do we remedy that, that problem? 
Well, instead of just being greater than 800, we would say greater than or equal to 800, greater than or equal to 600. Okay, or yeah. So now let's save that and run that again. And we can move our little guy around. And you see, we can't cheat the system anymore. Uh, we're just not able to get that to to go off and then come back again. And obviously, um, going up, we were never able to do that in the first place because zero zero was okay. So anyway, um, that's it. We've added boundaries now with basically one line of code. I suppose two lines calling the game exit. But yeah, pretty simple. And you're going to see that we continue doing stuff like that where basically we're asking about a bunch of crossing over. So when we find apples, for example, it's going to be all about crossing over the location of that apple and running into ourselves. It's going to be all about crossing over into the uh, location of ourselves, that kind of stuff. So anyway, stay tuned to that, and thanks for watching.